Good afternoon, my name is Alina Shaltsova. I'm an immigration attorney from New York. In today's video, we're going to talk about failed plan C and what's going to happen next. What if anything you may be able to qualify for if the immigration reform doesn't pass? And also I'm going to talk to you about what strange things USCIS has been noted to do recently and what you should do about that, if anything. So thank you very much for watching. If this is your first time on my channel, um, thank you for joining. Uh, hopefully you will subscribe to it. I hope so to see you, to see your comments. Uh, we're always happy to discuss your thoughts on the situation. So thank you very much again. My name is Alina Shotsova. I'm an attorney helping immigrants in all 50 states and overseas. And uh, you can easily find me online if you google my name if you go to our website www.shotsova.com and let's start as you're probably aware by now the senate parliamentarian rejected again democratic plan to pass some sort of immigration reform for the immigrants who are living in the united states it's a very very disappointing decision not only to us President Biden himself stated it's a very disappointing decision by her. And now, of course, Democrats are considering different options, which are basically three different routes. Route number one, to ignore the Senate parliamentarian. Not to override her, but to ignore. Very interesting option. Not sure if this will be seriously considered by many, but uh, it's a possibility if Democrats would like to just have a bold move, even bolder would be to override the Senate parliamentarian by voting. But as you are aware, not all of the Democrats are on the same page regarding this particular choice. So uh, prospects of that happening are very slim to none, I would say. And of course, there is another interesting option that I just uh, read. Uh, that option would basically include uh, blocking BBB bill completely until everybody who disagrees with that comes to the point and agreement that immigration must be in the bill. That's a very interesting option as well. So it all depends on how serious Dem Democrats are about the um helping immigrants if they would like or would like not to take that risk of overriding or ignoring the senate parliamentarian from my perspective of course right now democrats are in the best position to pass immigration reform if they really really want to they do have power to do that they may have some reservations about using that power just so that the other side republicans and uh, more conservative Democrats will not regard it as the abuse of power. <laughs> but um, if I were there, I would push for ignoring the Senate parliamentarian, which I think would be the most diplomatic approach to the situation. Of course, it requires strong will, and we're going to see if they're willing to exercise it. So what to do if you were one of those people who were counting on immigration reform, didn't do anything about your situation, and now you may be seriously considering some other options if, of course, you would qualify for them. So what I would suggest you do if you haven't done it yet, I would suggest that you look into at least the situations that I'm going to mention now. And, of course, not everyone will qualify for them, but it would be good for you to at least consult with any attorney to see if you may have a chance. Option number one would be um, VAWA. VAWA or um, Violence Against Women Act is good not only for women but for men as well. Parents and children too may qualify. VAWA can be um, a good option for someone who is married or was married to an abusive U.S. citizen or lawful permanent President's spouse. Why, why it's a good option? Because cooperation of that abusive spouse is not required. Uh, you also 
may be forgiven for certain immigration violations like entering without inspection, overstaying your visa, or working without authorization, automatically forgiven for those. You may qualify for special uh, waivers if you need them. For example, you have some criminal convictions or you entered the United States multiple times. Of course, certain requirements will be applied in this particular last situation, but still, VAW may be a good option because it's a self-petitioning option. Cooperation of your spouse is not required. At times, I see couples starting the process for, let's say, I-601A waiver, and then the abusive spouse does not want to go on with that. They threaten you, they, um, you know, try to blackmail you or abuse you, or simply you're tired and do not want to be in that bad relationship because of this immigration situation that you're having. So, vow may be good for you then. Another good option, but it's only for children, those who are under 21 and those who qualify would be special immigrant juvenile status. I have good articles about actually both options on my website, www.shaltsova.com. Children under 21 may qualify for the green card without the need of being sponsored by anyone, as long as they can show that one or both of their parents in their home country or here were abusive to them, neglected or abandoned them. So children may really benefit from this option. Again, self-sponsoring self option, self-sponsoring option. Also, I would, cons I would urge you guys to look into waivers. I know that many of you, I know for a fact, were counting on immigration reforms and did not move forward with their waiver options. And I think I-601A waiver may be very useful, very, very useful for many. Again, on my website, I have good explanations about I-601A waiver and who may qualify for them. So at least pay attention to these three common solutions. Now the last part, I promised you to talk about interesting trends that USCIS has been noted doing recently. Trend number one, USCIS sends you request for more evidence for birth certificate. A birth certificate that you already submitted to them. So what are you going to do? If you submitted a good birth certificate, meaning it was issued by the authority that is considered to be acceptable under USCIS regulations, and you submitted a qualified, certified translation, or as a translation with a certificate of translation, you just need to resubmit those. Very common are fees, requests for more evidence recently. Why is they doing it unknown? Perhaps they're using one of the birth certificates for application that was in the package and hence another set of uh, documents or applications that may still require your birth certificate will be technically without the birth certificate so rather than making copies themselves they ask you to produce that copy maybe that's the reason i do not know but you can just resubmit it and you'll be good to go but very common request for more evidence do not ignore it even if you submitted your birth certificate and you probably did submit your birth certificate previously. Very important. One more trend. USCIS changing receipt numbers. They changed the three initial letters on the receipt number, I believe, to IOE. Nothing to do here as well. It happens. It may cause some confusion, especially when you call USCIS Center to find out what's happening with your case. Do not worry. It's common. It's okay as well as transfer notices. Some people are very concerned when they receive transfer notices. Nothing to worry about. Transfer notice actually doesn't mean pretty much anything. It just means that USCIS transferred your case from one location, one service center to another. Sometimes it's useful. Most, in 99% of cases, it does not affect processing of your case at all. And last thing that USCIS has been noted to do recently the issue repeated notices for fingerprints for you so what do you do if you have recent notices for fingerprints that may have different date my advice to you to comply and show up on both dates very important why because they may mark your case as incomplete automatically if you don't okay 
So just remember that. That would be my best advice to you. And thank you very much for watching. Again, my name is Alina Shaltsova. Please uh, like, share this video. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel. And I hope to see you soon.